Welcome back to America Trends. Now, this segment is our fastest segment on television. It's our Dr. Gina rapid fire round, and we reserve it each evening to zip through as many of the topics as you say are trending. And we invite your favorite guests. You can feel free to nominate those guests by tweeting us using the hashtag Dr. Gina. Joining us now, international entertainer and comedian Tehran Von Gossery. Tehran, good to see you again, my friend. How you been doing? It is great to see you, Dr. Gina. It is hotter than Donald Trump Jr. at a press conference right now in L.A., but I'm glad to be here and on your show again. He's married, you know. I mean, you should watch that, oh. calling him hot. <laughs> Teasing you. Um, all right, Discovery Channel's infamous Shark Week starts back up right now, and no, they're not talking about fake news media. A date has been set for the most anticipated event of the week. You can catch Olympian Michael Phelps racing a great white shark on Sunday, July 23rd. Now, have you placed your bets on who's going to win this one? Well, it, it really depends on who's more high, the shark or Michael Phelps. See, he's got to be high. <laughs> what is wrong? I don't, I don't like racial division, but what's wrong with white people? Why do you love this stuff? Why are you swimming with sharks Michael Phelps? You won't catch Simone Manuel, the black Olympia, Olympic swimmer, doing something like this. You guys love Shark Week. You, you'll talk about Shark Week while you're being attacked by a shark. I don't get it. No, no, no. Listen, everyone who knows me knows my motto is shoot the sharks. I would shoot them all. Screw the ecosystem. I, I want the sharks gone. So, I mean, I maybe maybe I'm not as white as I look or something. That's aggressive, Dr. Gina. Shoot all the sharks. You know, conservatives, we like our guns. <laughs> but I have to say, you are the first person who ever had uh, one of my producers actually fall flat on his face laughing with your last it's joke. True. So, it's yeah. true. Yeah, well, he loved it. Anyway, I would never do it. Another big case that was thought to have gone cold in Japan was reopened today, Tehran. The case of the serial underwear thief was cracked. Who wrote this prompter? <laughs> <laughs> When a man who's reportedly stolen over a thousand women's undergarments was arrested last night. At least I know it wasn't you because you're on the show with me today, right? Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. Let's remember innocent until proven guilty. And for all we know, maybe this Japanese man just misunderstood Hello Kitty. I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe he misinterpreted Hello Kitty. Who knows? I don't know what's going on over there. All right, now this story gets a little touchy. Al Gore has been in Melbourne, Australia for the Eco City World Summit this week, promoting his stance on climate change. Uh, but there were some mixed emotions when he likened his and his peers' struggle for climate legislation to the struggle for civil rights, women's suffrage, and even the abolition of slavery. Tehran, I'm not sure climate change is on par with these movements, but uh, what do you think about that? Give this man some respect. He invented the internet. Do you people have no <laughs> respect for him? I don't know why Al Gore thinks and says the things he does, but I do know that if he's right, it won't matter because we'll all be black once the ozone layer is gone. We'll all be black. So it just won't matter. You know, I, I could just make this point once, but that would solve any racial tension in the country, right? Possibly. It possibly solve all racial tension in this country. Then again, we'd all be crispy and we, I don't know. This just, it's just horrible imagery right now. That's, that's really bad imagery. Yeah, yeah, let's move on. The Bank of America customers in Corpus Christi were shocked yesterday when handwritten notes pleading for help were spitting out of a Bank of America ATM instead of cash. The note read, please help, I'm stuck in here and I don't have my phone. Please call my boss. Tehran, what the heck was this guy doing inside of an ATM? I had that happen to me once in Mexico, but not usually in Corpus Christi, Texas. You had that happen to, who gets stuck inside an ATM, first of all? And second of all, the only person who helped this young man out was another guy who realized if he didn't have his phone, that means his girlfriend must be going through his text and all hell would break loose. <laughs> That's the only reason he wanted to get out. Well, be forewarned that there are some little Mexican people that like to hide inside what looks like an ATM out on the streets of Mexico, and you put your card in there, and all of a sudden $2,500 comes out of your account, and you don't get the $2,500. That happened. Anyway, uh, we heard this week that a committee was assembled to get The Rock running for president in 2020, and now today, the news that Kid Rock will be running for U.S. Senate in 2018 Yet another public fi figure trying to pull off the Trump effect. Uh, do you think he can do it? 
I mean, of course I think Kid Rock can do it. Kid Rock is the king of Detroit. And besides, I also heard that Flavor Flav is running for governor of California, and that fits because they're all freaking clowns. What What is going on right now? Who's, what's next? Kim Kardashian running for some, like, we need to stop this trend. And I know in the past, Ronald Reagan was an actor and Donald, uh, Governor Schwarzenegger, of course, was Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. I mean, this needs to stop. What, what's what's going to happen? Wu-Tang Clan going to run for Congress? Let's let it go. Next thing you know, Tehran's going to be running for something. I'm just saying. All right, sometimes, Tehran, the headline is the punchline. So let me read this one to you. Nevada calls for a state of emergency due to marijuana shortage. Mm. What the heck is all this about, and how can we solve this emergency? Well, I don't know what it's really about, but I do know how we can solve it. Let's bring another celebrity into effect, Snoop Dogg, governor of Nevada. <laughs> Problem solved. There you go. Solved just like that. All right. Healthcare been the talk of the town in D.C. lately, as you know. And then this news today that Attorney General Jeff Sessions has announced the largest healthcare fraud takedown in American history with a whopping $1.3 billion in fraudulent billings. Sounds like a lot of crooked doctors out there, maybe off the streets now. What do you think? Uh, I've always said the doctor is always the most crooked, followed by lawyers and Nigerian princes. So I understand and I hope that one day we get all these people out of the system. All right. Forget concealed handguns, Tehran. Starting this fall, <laughs> adults in Texas will be able to carry around swords. Tehran, uh, you make the call. Will this make Texas more or less safe? Look, I, Texas is already batshit crazy. I don't know, Dr. Gina. I don't know what they're thinking. I just hope that a poor Texan doesn't show up uh, with a sword to a gunfight. I, I don't know what's going on there. The <laughs> OK Corral is like, on guard. Let's, let's stop this. Stop the madness. I don't know. I kind of think that's a little bit of swag going on there. If you can carry your sword on your, on your sidearm, I guess that would be a gun, but, you know, on your little thingy. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. Sword swag? That's what's going on with you right now? Sword, sword swag. swag. Yeah. That's, the new, that's the new hashtag, Tehran, and you came up with it on this show. Tehran, thank you so much for being with us. We're out of time, but we always enjoy you. Thanks for coming on tonight. You, now, up next, we're going to go to your social media comments, and we're going to reveal the results of your poll. So go vote right now, u2america.com, because there's more American trends coming up on the other side of this commercial. Stay with us.